by the, uh, the carol, the last of the Inca, and it's a fire that helps us illuminate our lives on the full moon, and uh, pray for the earth, pray for ourselves by the use of the fire. I think traditionally though, it's a, a full moon fire ceremony where you use the power, you harness the power of the full moon, and then um, that uh, Quechua chant, and again, that's the chant from the Caro, who are the last of the Inca. Um, and it's a chant that's basically saying to the waters of our birth, on the waters of our death, we welcome you, we honor you, we connect with you. You know, we connect with life, too, because water is life, we're made of water. And um, yeah, so that fire ceremony is a way of combusting that which we do not need and combusting in what we do want. So fire really waters the seeds in the tradition like water would. You know, people putting that fire into their bodies and around their heads, it's like a, a sage smudge like you would see in other, other ways of healing, you know. It's a time of putting your prayers into the prayer stick. We blew our prayers into the stick and we put it in the fire. It goes directly out into space, into our lives. The whole process with um, any rite is we would open the four directions, which is one form of sacred space, and then open personal sacred space which we would call the Wiracocha. That's when you'll see me reach up into my eighth chakra and open it, part it like a peacock spreads its wings. And that creates a noosphere, a psychic space that allows us to connect beyond time, outside of time, to the lineage that's always here with us, whose uh, energies actually leap through us. It allows the, the rice to leap through them, sort of what you could call invisible energies that are right here with us right now uh, and allows those rights to transfer. So the basic process then opened up in sacred space is uh, the sacred is literally in the room. Once that's done, you'll see me attuning, attuning to the energy, which is either the hand is up in the air, you see me breathing for a moment, and the breathing allows the energetic to come through. And I always say to my students, allow the breath to breathe you. The star keepers, right? Anchors us safely to the time after the time of great change, 2012. This ride allows us to heal and age differently. by changing and informing the DNA to evolve as homo luminous, stepping outside the wheel of homo sapien, star keeper.